Good evening. My name is Graham Goulian, and I'm with Grace Episcopal Church in Ossining, New York. Thanks for joining me tonight, as we'll read together the Order of Compline, found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 127. <clears throat> Let's begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. <coughs> Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, in word, in deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the honor of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> and now uh, we'll turn to page 131 at the bottom for a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. You will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. On the following page from Paul's letter to the Hebrews, may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. We'll continue now with the prayers. Let us pray. <clears throat> Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, Hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. And now we'd like to offer up prayers for those in our lives. From the prayer names from Grace Episcopal Church. We pray for the lives of Faith, Betty, Bill, Father Charles, Alicia, Kathleen, Chuck, George, Mary, Jean, Claire, Ginny, Jim, Nils, Al, Dennis, Zach, Henry, and Teresa. For Michael, Chris, Charles, Curtis, Sue, Janet, Rachel, Tess, Rebecca, Dawn, Jackie, Dorothy, Jada, Zach, Richard, Emmerich, Rebecca, Carla, Arthur, Bill, Phil, Rick, Magda, Sally, Pat, Claire, Luz Maria, Lilwyn, 
Andrea, Jason, Sarah, and for the Hunt and Madison Conway families, Robert and Asa Jr. Are there others in your life that you'd like to pray for now? Lord, as always, we pray for an end to war, an end to injustice, an end to famine, an end to circumstances which create so many refugees in our world. With all our hearts and all our minds, we pray. Amen. <clears throat> and for those who have died, especially Aileen Hunt and Michael Madison, Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, and shield the joyous, all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Have a great evening.